Hello and welcome to this short reflection. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus tells a very short parable about a mustard seed. It only takes three verses, so I can read it to you now quite easily. So here it is. Jesus said, to what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds upon the earth. Yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the air can make their nests in its shade. Now, of course, back then, before the invention of electron microscopes and such like, the mustard seed was probably one of the smallest things visible to the human eye. So if we try to work out what this parable means for us, then I suppose the simplest and most straightforward explanation is that very small and insignificant things have the potential to grow into something much bigger. The kingdom of God may start from very small and unpromising beginnings, but it can grow into something much greater and more fruitful. And that gives us a lot to think about, and we could leave it there, and that will be fine. But I think actually that there's more going on here in this parable if we prepare to dig a little bit deeper around it. I used to wonder why Jesus chose the example of the mustard seed, which after all grows into what is really just a large garden plant, or at best a shrub. Why didn't Jesus talk about a small seed growing into a mighty, majestic spreading oak tree? Or even better, one of those magnificent cedars of Lebanon that we read about in the Old Testament. A whole aviary full of birds would have been honoured to make their nests in those branches rather than in the smaller tweaks of the mustard bush. So Jesus, why on earth are you telling a parable about a mustard seed? Well, I think Jesus is perhaps trying to make a very important point here. The mustard bush or shrub wasn't particularly beautiful or graceful. In fact, it was quite ordinary. You might even say it was a little bit tatty. And what's more, it was what gardeners would call highly invasive. It grew everywhere and spread like wildfire. To be honest, it was regarded as a bit of a weed and would have been rooted out wherever possible. So Jesus, it seems, is comparing the kingdom of God to a scruffy, invasive weed that is a bit of a nuisance. Hmm, makes you think that, doesn't it? But then that's what parables are supposed to do, to make us question our understanding of God and how we relate to him. So perhaps it's something like this. The kingdom of God grows and spreads not necessarily through the grand and the respectable, through the highly intelligent and the capable, but more often than not, through the scruffy and the insignificant, through the poor and the marginalised, through the weak and the vulnerable. And maybe, perhaps at the moment, you're feeling, metaphorically speaking, a little scruffy and insignificant, a bit on the margins, on the edge of things. And you feel as if you have lots of weaknesses and problems, many faults and failings, and you feel as though you haven't really got very much to offer God at all. Well, if you do feel like that, then the parable of the mustard seed is one which you should take quite seriously. Because it suggests that you could be just the sort of person that God is looking for to help build his kingdom. And that, I think, is something that's really very encouraging. And why the parable of the mustard seed short as it is, is worth spending time reflecting on. So thank you for watching, and may the Lord bless you.